check this out. I bought a billet flywheel for the mini bike. I think it has like 34 degrees timing in it. And then um, it's a little bit lighter than the stock one. And then I bought this built rod and it's 20 thousandths longer than stock. So maybe it'll add a little compression, but I figured I'd add both those to the mini bike to see if it improves the zero to 30 times a little bit and plus makes it stronger. So we'll see what happens. head bolt where the governor was. Alrighty, got the governor gear all removed. Could have used a punch and punched that out, but I just went ahead and popped the pin off. Five thousand, so that'll work. She's supposed to have like thirty thousandths piston to piston to head clearance, or around there. I think you can get away with twenty, maybe. But anyway, this thing's fifty-five. All right, got the engine all back together. Let's put it back on the bike, see if it runs. Let's see if it actually will run, hopefully. Okay, got the new flywheel on, the old one off. So now let's see if it makes it any faster or if it even runs at all. All right. 
you're gonna stick the got this dragging meter gonna stick it on the bike test out the zero 30 times Alright, there's the fastest one so far, 3.02. Three 3.02. That's the fastest it did so far. I, it'll do a lot faster than that, I just can't keep the front end on the ground. So it does look like a flywheel does make a difference. The flywheel and the rod. Because um, before, I could only get a 3.09 and now... I got a 3.02, but that's with the front end coming up all the time. I could not even keep the front end on the ground. It's a lot more snappy too. So it definitely does help or make it faster, quicker with a flywheel and a longer rod. And you can feel the compression too when you pull it. It's a little bit harder.